Hey, I'm MC Rick, it's the program. Let's all rise to sing our national anthem. Oh, say can you see By the dawn's early lights What so proudly we hail At the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Somebody cheer for me? I think I got a cheer. Thank you uh, very much, whoever you are out there cheering. The camera, oh, the camera has moved uh, down a little bit. We got a we got a different camera angle. We got a different some things. Mike's cutting in and out too. Things are happening today. Odd. Some things are they're different. Where are we? What's it like here? <laughs> What's it like where I am? Uh, I should know myself. Nobody should know what, like, where I am. More than myself, I guess. Something, something was weird. Things are moved. It's a new day. It's uh, Saturday. Ooh. Am I cutting out? Can you hear me the whole time, viewers? Saturday and we're alive. I'm alive. If you're listening, you're alive too. That's something that you can say. And if you're uh, not talking to a corpse or something, they can't even hear you. So if they're going to hear you and understand what you're saying. It's true. I would argue even if you're talking to some kind of mythical undead being, like vampires or something, if they can know what you're saying and you're there, they're also alive. Uh, but you don't have to be able to hear and listen to be alive. But if you can hear and listen, then you're probably alive, or you are alive. You're m most definitely alive. Mm, maybe since we're getting so close to our year kickoff, it's kind of like a, like a, you know, anniversary or just time, time moving forward. My have been thinking about dying and life and living, living and dying. I've been thinking about it more in the past few days, and also the couch is maybe going to die. So living and dying, it's something we're I'm thinking about, and something I'm living with, and maybe we all are. What are we going to do today? Um. Uh, Maybe look at the phones, look into the past a little bit, live a life. We can live a life today. Uh, how, how much time have we gone? Five minutes? This thing is, was not going. I should have been listening to it like this. You can hear that clicking, and that wasn't going before, now it's going. Alright, let's get right into it. Let's call look at the phone. We'll call some people. We'll call the doublers. Looks like we got a something, some kind of message, but I don't know if it's a real message or 
Oh, it's yellow fellow. Yellow fellow, you're alive, huh? I thought, like, yellow fellow might not be alive. Uh, Dan Dobor also tried to call us, so here we go. Let's call, let's call yellow fellow first because it's real late where he is. Uh, it's been a while since we called Yellow Film. Um, maybe a month or weeks or something. So I go way back there. Or I gotta find the book, or I got like I don't know if it's gonna be in this uh like recent call. Oh oh uh oh no! What's happening? Um, I don't know if it's gonna be in the recent call thing, but it is. I think it's this one. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Should I look at the book? I don't know where the the book even is though. All right, I'm going with this because I think it's this is three weeks ago. It seems about right to me. Hello. Hello, yellow fellow. Hi, it's been a little bit. Yeah, it's been three weeks by my uh, device here. Oh, for real? Yeah. Three weeks too long. Three weeks too long. You you, you were on your phone already, huh? Because the phone right right in your ring. It's like right there, huh? Yeah. I'm having the boring uh, boring Saturday night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you looking for, uh, you look, uh, looking at Tinder or something? No, I'm talking to some, I was arguing with um, a friend in uh, Facebook Messenger. About what? Actually. Um, he was talking about this, um, foodie tuber, I forget her name, um, but I had remembered her videos. Uh, she generally makes pretty poor looking food in my opinion. Yeah. So I forget what, I forget why he brought her up, but. He, um, he liked the food? I said something like, oh, I feel bad. I don't know. I think he's self, um. I said, oh, I feel bad for her sometimes because uh, her food kind of looks shitty. And, uh, well, I didn't say that, but I said, um, people in the comments say, like, give her a hard time for food. And she seems like a sweet woman, and she always replies to the comments, like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, So I was just, I was just saying how I felt bad for her, you know. Yeah. And she said I was being like an asshole for pitying her. But I don't think that's even pity. I think that's just, like, empathizing more than anything else. Yeah, well, you're, uh, you know, I, I recognize that once you're on the internet, you're opening yourself up to criticism. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And if you're gonna, I mean, I don't know. Uh, it, but the food, <laughs> the, the food it's is a dumb thing to be getting in a conversation about. It looks bad. An argument the, about the food looks bad. Yeah, exactly. Maybe it tastes good though. <laughs> Uh, I don't know about that. It actually looks like it would taste bad. It looks, it looks like it tastes bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I like, um... What are you doing on this Saturday? Uh, the, I'm doing the program on TV. It's not too late for me. It's uh, only 8.45 for me. It's not too late to start uh, partying if I wanted to. Right. Yeah. You don't have any plans after this? Uh, I don't have any plans, yeah. Um, I'm going to Boston next week. Yeah, how far is that? Um, it looks like it's going to be about a seven-hour bus ride. Oh, boy, that's really long. I thought it was less than that. Yeah, I mean, we probably go... Yeah, I don't know why it's that long. Maybe because there's a few stops on the way. But, how, I mean, I'm going at night, so I should be able to sleep. How long would it take to drive? Uh, I don't drive. But how long would it take if you if somebody else drove though? Oh, um, probably a little bit less, but not by much. Not by much. Yeah, maybe like five hours. Yeah, what's it? What's in Boston? Oh, um, well, my brother uh, lives there, and also there's a friend I'm gonna hang out with. And you're from you're from Philly? Yeah. How, how well, not I from here, but. Philly people, area. People have accents. They don't have accents where you are, or in Boston they do. 
Oh yeah, Boston. Uh, <laughs> my friend told me a funny joke uh, in Boston when you're um, saying you can't find your khakis. Your car, it means, car, car uh, keys? Oh uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> My khakis. I mean, it's better when you see the yeah the khakis. 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 Two things. <laughs> like, where's my khakis? Put your pants. Who calls them? Yeah. Do they call them car? Who says car keys? You just say your keys. I will know one really. Yeah, I guess that's another reason why I'm joking. Like, kind of I'm looking for my car keys. Your car? What's a? Why are you saying car key? Like car key sounds weird anyway. Like. Yeah, it goes without saying. Unless they say like. Oh man. It's a Boston thing. In Boston, they come khakis. I'm sure. I mean, I, I, people say Philadelphians have uh, accents. I probably have some sort of one at this point. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't hear it. But it's, uh, you know, the, the accents are going down w- with the newer and newer generations with more and more proliferation of media. Right, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, um, sure, what was I going to say? Khakis. Oh yeah, did you um, finish Twin Peaks? I finished it. I I liked it. Yeah, I did too. It um, I had to kind of think about it and like um, let it set with me for a little while before I accepted it. Yeah. Um, How about you? Did you feel that way at all? I no, I didn't really. I I I did spend a lot of time though watching like interviews with uh, you know David Lynch and he's. He was kind of comparing himself to abstract painters. Uh-huh. So there's nothing really to. Right. No, that's totally that's totally how he approaches like, uh, yeah, movie making. Yeah, I don't know if he always has, but now yeah, I've heard the same thing. I don't think there's much to grasp at. Um, I don't think that's that something people need to be doing. I mean, it's fun. I guess it's fun. It's it's just for fun, but at the same time, I, I think there is like. I think he he loves the fact that people can interpret it in many different ways. Yeah, and uh, I think it is impressive that that ending can be interpreted in so many different ways. Like, uh, there's been some pretty outrageous theories. <laughs> yeah, about everything. Yeah, it's just feeling. Um, it's just feelings and stuff. And I I like that they they kind of wrapped it up. You know, episode 17 was pretty much could be an ending, and then 18 was like extra. Oh, right. mm-hmm. And they're kind of saying well, that. So that's like I like how that, that's like well the um kind of just like let you know what was really going on with the bigger picture right at the end, which is pretty interesting. Yeah. Like it seems like there's been this um overarching like long-standing plan developed by them to get like just um somehow get rid of this like hugely negative evil force in the universe. Yeah. Or multiple universes. They did it. Like, the hard thing I have um, dealing with with that though is I have a hard time believing that back in like I mean obviously they weren't having all this planned out in um, the very like when they first started the show but it's hard to like have that go again like compare that to like the very first season you know. Yeah, well, it didn't start. It didn't start getting like mystical until the second season, really. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, and you know that's fine, but um, how are you going to really keep a show that's been on for like thirty years perfect and make complete sense? Yeah. In all those ways. Yeah. It's um, well, how have you? Know Twin yeah. Peaks first time. Yeah, Twin Peaks. How have you been in, in the while. last? How have you been in the last three weeks? I've been good, except right now, because I feel like my brain's fried. Um, Why? What happened? I smoked weed for the first time in a while. In how long? Um, probably, like, almost a month. Now, you feeling, uh, are you, are you feeling paranoid? Um, nah, I just feeling dumb. Oh, uh, yeah. That's okay. Maybe, uh, my brain is missing. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. that's okay. Thinking is hard. Thinking is hard. That's what, that's the goal, right? You're trying to dumb yourself down and relax a little bit. You know what I'm going to start trying to do? Uh, what's that? Transcendental meditation. Like David Lynch? Yeah, that's where I got the idea. Yeah. He really sells it. Yeah, well, we've talked about this, I think, in the past, about what meditation is. I've I tried it. 
and I got bored. You have? I got bored. Oh, we did talk about this here, yeah. right? I found it boring, and I decided that I kind of this this program is kind of my own meditation. Yeah, it's probably a nice little like escape from the world every day. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like meditation, except for that instead of internal dialogue. I well, there's a I'm, lot of different types of some meditation seems like it involves and encourages like deep thinking, where the meditation that David Lynch talks about. It seems like he almost doesn't want you to be thinking at all, you know. Yeah, yeah. He, you like, don't you want to be thinking at all, and you're trying to like remove the thoughts from your mind, but then you're just like trying to think. Yeah. I always ended up thinking about not thinking. I'm like, no thinking, well, no I thinking. Think that's, I think that's where the mantra comes in and helps a lot. Yeah. But I Is that like yeah that fights you from having any thoughts, you know. That's where he says he gets his ideas. So concentrating on the word and stuff, but. Um, it's hard. It's it's yeah. it's definitely hard to do, and it takes a lot of patience. Oh, I know. Um, I can't really. I keep telling myself that I'm going to do it, but I never give myself time. And if I do try, I don't really last that long. Yeah, you got to go for like an hour or at least or something. Yeah. I mean, it's basically like sleeping. You just like sit. You just got to what? Sit there. Sit there and turn turn off all the stuff, and that's it. That's all you got to do. Mm -hmm. I'm not, yeah. I don't know if but, it's... Yes. Yeah. Is it crickets? What does that sound? Yeah, that's what you're hearing. You're right. outside. You're outside with the crickets? Yes. They're loud. Um, yeah, well, you... Because you know I'm living in that Airbnb place, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm... People are sleeping, so I'd be outside. Oh, yeah. So you gotta, you gotta, uh, sit in the room with, like, without things and, and, uh... Not think. I don't know if he if he does it like uh, the same way as everybody else, or if he has his own way of doing it. But a room with what? A room with like nothing. Oh, did, is that what I told you before? No, that's what I think. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember that much of what we said before. Oh, I might have told. Yeah, well, when I first moved in, I didn't really have anything besides a uh, small backpack of stuff I brought with me. Uh, you know, dropped off my uh, dropped off some more of my stuff. You don't have possessions. You don't have a lot of things. Wait one second, I can't. Sorry, I dropped my phone. Um, what? You don't have a lot of, you don't have possessions? Like a lot of th things? Or collections or anything? No, I don't really. Huh. I don't know. I, um, yeah, I don't really have much stuff besides, like, my phone and, like, some clothes and stuff. I have too much stuff. <laughs> the studio, the, I mean, have you seen the studio? It's, it's capacity. We're full yeah, of, very we have lots of things, yeah. lots of things. Too many things to move. I don't know. For some reason, over the past few years, I kind of stopped like buying new things for myself. Uh huh. Um, I mean, it's because I'm kind of just always on the go. Yeah, you don't well, need. And things. I was also living with like some. I was just like living with other people for a while and like using their stuff. So that's part of maybe meditation too. You're gonna, you're gonna lose all your things. You're gonna becoming your zen. You're you're going down the zen road or something, huh? I'm a very deep person. Mm hmm. So you tried meditating, and but it didn't. You didn't. It didn't work, or what? Nah, I couldn't really last long, even a few minutes. Because you got bored. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I'm determined. I think I'm even going to try to get myself to go to like a class or get a teacher or something. <laughs> yeah. I, I know that sounds like. I know that sounds like like kind of dumb, but uh, like a teacher for meditating. But I don't know. The way almost everyone who talks about it who has tried it, like, everyone who's tried it, the way they talk about it is like, things like one of the best things, like, one of the best parts of their day. Um, oh yeah, well I'm sure. It's like you get to, yeah. uh, well I, I, I say just, just turn, just go, uh, you know, look at, sit in the, the, like a closet or something, turn on the lights and then like okay. set a timer for yourself and don't leave for an hour and, and don't have any stimulation. Uh, I'm going to force myself to do it that's about all there is i i can't take like even like a few minutes of that stuff i gotta listen to music or something and the silence is too much for me uh, and do you, i don't want to yeah, meditate i saw um from the videos on youtube that carl came by recently he stopped by for a minute maybe in june 
Wasn't it like June? That was like June. Uh, well, I, I, I think I've been... Oh, okay. Well, I scrolled back on the videos for a little bit just to look at some of the titles. Um, it could have been June. I, I forgot what it was. I've also been looking at messages from the past, so it could have been either June or we could have been looking at the past. Oh, okay. He did come by on June. Uh, to, to you know, he came and got no, a thing. Um, not... I don't I I saw Carl on the street not too long ago actually and I just, just said like hi and he said hi. Oh, really? He was nice enough. Oh you got you guys didn't talk long? Um no I I just said like how you know how are you? We exchanged that kind of yeah. thing. Uh Yeah. But I think he was doing fine. He did a stop and chat. Stop and chat. Yeah, yeah, stop and chat. Yeah. Like uh, is it Kirby enthusiasm? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think the stop and chat is He's good enough for stop and chat. The stop and chat is like longer though. He's like, I didn't want to stop and chat. Like, yeah, we, we just did like a, a halfway. Uh, the briefest of chat. greetings. I think he was in that show. He was worried that the stop and chat was going to last a while. Yeah, I was trying to avoid a stop and chat so badly the other day that I was like pretending I didn't recognize someone. I was like ignoring them as I passed them on the street. Uh huh. But then they like, called out to me, and I think they probably knew I was trying to ignore them. So uh, oh. Yeah. What happened with that? No, so I had to then friend them on Facebook to say we'd hang out soon. So uh, exactly what I didn't want to have happen happened. Did, did, you didn't talk to them at the time, though? No, no, he stopped me. Oh, he did stop you, and then and then you... Yes. Yeah. And, then and he, I was like, oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now we have to go hang out. It was, so it, it wasn't uh, uh, a time thing? It was like a, this person is you're trying to ignore them? Mm-hmm. I didn't hear you. It wasn't a time thing? Is this, this You're trying to ignore this person? Oh, it was, it's somebody I'm trying to avoid, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. kind of just like a negative guy. Um, mm-hmm. And um, like a negative, like influence type of thing like he's always partying too hard um oh yeah it's weird though because he's like four years he's like 19 or 20 i grew up with him um he's just always this like nerdy little kid on my like track team who we went to at my grade school and uh now he turned into like i don't know just this like douchey like a uh, punk rock kid who uh does cocaine like Almost every day. Mm. So. Maybe, maybe if you want, you should tell like, yeah. t- like, not, not, not a, in reality, but like, do like a, a, a fake intervention with him, so that he won't want to talk to you anymore. Mm-hmm. Just and just be like, I, I mean, <laughs> so just be annoying towards him, so he. That no, no, see, I'm trying to avoid uncomfortable situations, but that's just like creating a new one. Oh yeah, but what, I guess maybe would he tell your friends or something about that? But you say, I think you, I think you have a problem. You ever think you had a problem? And after that, he won't want to talk to you anymore. But I don't think it'll be that much. He'll maybe, maybe if you tell him, because he, he, he won't want to oh, tell, yeah. he won't want to tell you. Mm-hmm. He won't want to. He won't like if you say that. He'll just have like ill feelings towards you and not want to talk to you. But at the same time, it won't be mean. He won't have mean feelings yeah. towards you. He'll just be like, oh, I mean, I mean, I'll. What I'm probably going to going to do in reality is just like maybe not respond to him or just keep telling him I'm busy. Oh yeah, yeah, that that probably works too. That's fine. Yeah. Um. Uh, maybe he'll forget if he's uh like yeah, inti- maybe. if he's inti- gets Did inti- you hear that? Um. What? Go ahead. If he's uh, intoxicated, you know, uh, Julie- yeah. He'll forget. He'll forget if he's too intoxicated. He'll forget everything. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, you know Julie Cruz? No. She's like the classic like Twin Peaks Roadhouse singer. Oh, okay. Brought her back at the end of episode 17. Oh, yeah? Um, she apparently like was really angry that her like song was cut short. Oh, yeah. She wrote this, like, really long, rambling rant, like, complaining and, like, cursing out David Lynch on Facebook. 
He'd she'd be nothing without him, though, right? What? Would she even? Yeah, she's not really anything without him. Yeah, he, he kind of made her career. Yeah, well, she's she just wants more. She wants more attention. She wants more, more, more. I didn't have um, enough attention. It was just really bad. Um, a celebrity shouldn't be given uh, direct access to the internet. Yeah, well, I think that's what that's what it's for. Nah, people like the drama it causes. Yeah, yeah. I heard they're gonna maybe Twitter was gonna take away like Donald Trump's Twitter or something. Yeah, they should probably stop giving Donald Trump access because I think he's gonna get us into World War Three. Yeah, the um, yeah, she she wanted more uh, time. I don't even remember the song at all. I remember a few of the songs, but not that one. Uh, well, she's. Um the theme song is one of her songs originally. She's the one that does the voice of the on the song. Yeah. Oh yeah, I heard that song before. That's definitely a um, yeah. David Lynch song. Is that still your ringtone? Yeah, it is. Uh, it's still my ringtone. That's definitely a un, un uh, what's his name Balamenti song, and not her song. Oh, oh he. Uh, some of his new songs in this season were great. I thought. Um, they have some of them out on the soundtrack now. You can listen to. Them. Yeah, they're great, and the you gotta watch all those David Lynch movies. Did you see all those? Oh yeah, I'm getting caught up. Um, I watched Lost Highway for the first time. Yeah, well, you gotta watch them all. There's probably less movies than there are if in, in, in one season of the new show. So, like, I know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've seen most of them. I just, I think the last one I have to see is some is uh, Inland Empire. And then he has a bunch of, like, short films and stuff and, like, weird series that uh, are kind of unknown. And music, too. He has an album of music, which is pretty oh, good. Oh, I, I, some of his stuff I can't, like, songs I don't care for, but the songs that are good, I, like, love. Yeah. Is there lots of, it's um, lots of stuff. You can go down that, that rabbit hole. Uh, oh, yeah, he's, I don't know, he's a jack of all trades, really. Yeah. Is it? Your your friend isn't gonna call you, or did he already send you another message, or uh, that was just today when you tried to stop when you didn't want to talk to him. No, that was like uh, two days ago, and um, I have a feeling he's gonna message me on Facebook soon, uh, or maybe I'll. I don't know. It's already been two days. Maybe I'll get. Two days is kind of yeah, long. Maybe I'll get lucky. You're like, hey, remember yeah, remember no. when we talked like two days ago? Like I kind of like to me. If I if I run into somebody and I say like, hey, you know, I, I I'm glad to see you. Watch. Actually, this I don't think this ever happens to me though. Yeah. I'm never glad. To, yeah, maybe I'll, yeah. I might not have anything to be worried about. Maybe he was feeling the same <laughs> way. Oh, but he. <laughs> yeah. He, maybe that's a possibility. Yeah. He wanted to say something uh, to you though, because if you, yeah, I think people can tell, like if you're. If you're not being genuine or not, if you're not being genuine, or if you're feeling some something, like you you think that like he's not feeling the same thing, like maybe even is not that you're not being genuine, but if there's like a rift between people, you can feel that unless you're. Yeah, I think yeah he might have been able to tell that I didn't probably wasn't really serious about like bringing the hang out. And not 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 just you not being serious. If you have these feelings about him maybe he has the same feelings mm-hmm. about the relationship like i think you're, if you're sharing the relationship oh, oh, no, I, I, oh i get that yeah i get that yeah i'm just not being honest that's possible yeah and it's not um, that it's not that but, you're uh, yeah you're not being super honest but it's not like uh you need to be any more honest than that that's i think that's cordial yeah yeah, yeah exactly um not like we have any really deep lasting relationship right now but um i'm gonna go inside because i'm getting eaten alive by bugs oh bugs so i'm gonna have to get off the phone all right but i'll call back tomorrow or call soon. back lfo it's been too long three weeks all right thank you goodbye yeah, okay. bye-bye all right that was yellow fellow wow what a talk um here, let's call freddy the producer next here it goes freddy the producer um 
I've been trying to talk to Freddie, the producer, for a few days now because I had some ideas about what we're going to be doing. I forgot to tell Yellowfell about uh, September 19th, but it's every day. Every day is a kind of a new day. Hey, you've reached Freddie Dobler. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Oh, hey, program. Hey, Freddie. How are you? Oh, I'm doing good. Um, just, uh, yeah, just moved some things around in the studio today, got the production in, um, all caught up. Everything's going uh, just, just great. Yeah, there's so. It, I went it, to, actually, yeah, I went to this like zine club today at the local library. It's on the third. Wait, yeah, I think third Saturday of every month or something like that at three o'clock. A club, huh? At the library. I'd like to recommend that to the viewers out there. It's a good time. Third Friday of the month. Uh, Saturday. This is third Saturday of the month. Yeah, there's so much more yeah. space in the studio. Uh, I think I don't know if it was on or off the program. We we're talking about making space, but you did it. I made some more space. I didn't make any more time. We don't have much time left before it's time for um, the this uh, season finale or not? Yeah, season, sorry, the uh, the, the anniversary. I've been I've been trying to talk to you for the past couple of days because I've had some things to to tell you about. Oh, really? Um, well, uh, you yeah, finally got a hold of me. Yeah, well, uh, first of all, so something I want to remember, this is, like, the Brianna thing is still on, we got to get that onto a tape. What? It's still not on the tape? Oh. Um, because we never, we never put it on the, 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 the messages to the future tape. We never got a clip from that. Okay, well, while I'm on the phone with you, I can get that going. I guess we just don't know, we didn't do an official message to, to the future, so... What yeah, gonna do? we're just gonna you're just gonna grab the most random of clips, anything, just like how many seconds? Uh, twenty. Twenty? Yeah. Okay, randomest. <laughs> I'll do my best. And um, that's the one thing. So then we can get that because we can get it on the other tape. Also, is like. I don't, I'm still, like, divided about the, the fate of the couch. Like, I know, I know. I, I was feeling that today, too, as I was cleaning. And, I mean, I, looked at, I was looking at the Brianna episode today, um, and then at the end, when the couch comes up, just like the couch comes up at the end of every episode, and it's going to be so weird for it to come up and not be there, you know? Yeah. I don't. Know. I think if we moved, if we moved some things around, we could have both couches. I, I do. I think. I think we could. What? <laughs> is that too much? Is that crazy? I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe you're right. I think. I don't know. Just because um, today I was kind of inspired by the space that we could have. Now we have more space, even though we have less things. Because we're gonna get rid of a lot of these things anyway, and so, so maybe we can have space. Like maybe we can, it can happen. It's hard to imagine, unless maybe we rotate the studio again um, back the other way so that the tapes are behind again or something. Like, it's just hard for me to imagine <clears throat> um, how to incorporate the couch or the second couch and keep the old couch. Yeah. I don't. I just. I don't. I just don't know if I can kill, like destroy the couch. I've been. I've just been thinking about it a lot. We still might destroy it. I've really tried to convince myself to do it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm definitely, the closer we get to it, the less I feel, uh, like, as sure. Yeah. And it's like back, I know a few days ago, I said to myself in the messages to the future, I said, like, I know that you're having doubts, but you must, you must. This was like three or four days ago. And now and, and, and I, I said, like, to myself, like, from the past. At one point, I was like, "This is something that you have to do." But I don't now. I, now that I'm here, it's like I, it's like one of those people you say, like, like uh, no matter what, don't let me do this, don't let me, no matter what I say. And then you're like, "Oh, you said this," and you're like, "No, but I didn't want to do it." So I don't, I don't know what to do. Uh, well, like the, um, like in that Narnia book where the guy is like, he's like, 
I'm going to tell you to let me out of the out of the chains. Like I'm going to be chained up, and I'm going to tell you all kinds of things, telling me, to, telling you to let me out of the chains, but you can't let me out of the chains. Yeah. And then it's like the full moon, and he's like, "Let me out of here," you know. Yeah. I was lying to you before. It's like, ah, oh, what am I doing? What am I supposed to do? I don't know what we're supposed to do. Yeah. Who's right? Yeah. Uh, but I don't want to. Now we have a second couch. So yeah. We have to do something. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> want to want to use the second couch because this couch is is breaking down. So we gotta like move it or something. We gotta maybe we can uh, maybe we, we can just maybe we can put the, this couch on its side and put it in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> like that. That's a good solution for yeah. the time being. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll do that for now because we could definitely. Um, we're gonna move like these tapes and stuff, so we're gonna have a lot of extra space because we're gonna move all the uh, music things out of this room too. Right. I already uh, moved some of the music things out of the room. Oh, you did. Okay. The so the other thing we need to do is we need to take some. I know this is kind of maybe strange to talk about on the program itself. But uh, we do have a large quantity of um, Star Trek VHS, the next generation. Yeah, those are getting moved also somewhere. Do we have a place to put those? I might I might take them with me, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, never mind, good. Um, <clears throat> also, we're going to be doing... Some, uh -huh. yeah. Oh, yeah? Uh, I don't know, it's some, you know, people are selling them. I guess. Oh yeah, we eBay. could we could try to sell them. But we, I think we're missing four of them to be the complete collection, and it's hard to tell which ones are which. So. Oh uh, well, well maybe we can sell Whatever. them anyway. Uh, we're gonna some. I've decided that we're gonna be doing some changes to the program a little bit too. We're bring we're gonna bring back info time. Oh, I did see something about info time. I uh, was I okay. was I was looking at the past. Uh, I looked at like uh, 2015, and I was like, I don't know. I feel like I want to look at 2015. And Info Time came on, and I I was like, maybe we should do that because I did bring back the phone number. I brought back the phone number, and I just think people don't know. They just don't know. And Info Time is is uh gonna tell people about what they don't know. Right. And how it's gonna be is gonna be the uh, the oh, and we're retiring the national anthem at the beginning of the show too. Oh. At the at the year. At the year, yes. Oh, wow, cool. And we're putting the national anthem behind Info Time. You're going to have uh, the, sa the musical score of the um, national anthem while we're doing Info Time. Yeah, like as the background music for it. So when that means. That's a good idea. It's I support that. Where'd you get all these good ideas? These are great ideas. Uh, where where do you get your ideas? Yeah, the, uh, I yeah, think where did that come from? They, it, they came. It came from. It must be coming from being on the program and being forced to think. <laughs> yeah. Like I have, I have to think, and and yeah, you know, that's what I say. I say, what are we gonna do today? You know how I say that? Uh huh. Think, have ideas, beliefs. So uh, they must be coming from this the program itself. Um, it's like, are these my ideas or the program's ideas? Uh, so... Hey, hey, give me, give me like, uh, in between, uh, a minute in between zero and 60. No, zero and 58. Uh, a number? Yeah. Uh, uh, for a minute. Oh, 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 somewhere, I know what this is already, though. I'm going to say 40. 40. Okay, cool. 40. Oh. Hello? Um, oh, okay. yeah. Okay, cool. You got a random clip from, from the Brown episode? Is that, um... It's be on, which I think will be fine. It's what? It's 20 seconds in the middle of a song. Oh, yeah, that sounds good to me. Okay. All right, cool. Well, I got this made, and now I'm gonna print it out, and or I'll uh, I'll make it in a printable format. Yeah, and, and we can put it on there. We can put it on there. So cool. Yeah, things are coming together, though. You know, I'm <clears throat> I'm gonna be making some. Um, I'm gonna be planning out the 
uh, shelves, I guess. I'm, I'm going to be doing some math and drawings over here and trying to figure out, <clears throat> you know, dimensions and how many. We're going to build a shelf. We're going like to we're going to move the couch on the side. Yeah, but this couch can just go on its side for a while and we can still have more time. So that's what we're going to do on on that day though. We're uh, going to turn the couch on its side. Now the other thing is the other couch is longer than that couch. So there's like that stack of tapes by the record machine and we might need to move that stack of tapes somewhere slide the record zone over about half a foot. And the whole table, unless we want to put the table in front again, because if we put the table in front again, that would work. Um, that, I, I, I don't want to do that. I think it's better on the side. Okay. Good. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we'll, I just wanted to check and make sure you're changing, we're changing things, but also going back to other things. Yeah, no, we're going, yeah, we're, we're going back to some things. I think the table on the side, uh, is... Easier to access. I, I just I like looking off to the side. Yeah, I remember everything was up front. You know, viewers, the whole table is right there. The whole thing. If you notice that it was gone. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, the table on the side thing. I like the openness of the front. Yeah. Good. Well, it's my. You know, I just feel like I gotta ask these questions. No, that's these are good questions. I could. Yeah. We're gonna do that, and so I'm gonna. We're gonna have to make a tape some sometime to, to do that. The 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 new info time. Uh, oh, I found the clone tape too. Did you see that? Yeah, where was it? It was in the stack of uh, of episode tapes. I found a bunch of stuff today. I even found that hard drive that I said was missing the other day. I said there's a missing hard drive. Oh yeah. And like oh no, a missing hard drive. I found it. It was just in all the stuff. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, it is good. So, um, yep, things are going well with the, that stuff. And how about the rest of the production then? Oh, um, yeah, it's going well. We have um, a new episode coming out on TV every night at 11.30 uh, p.m. And then at 2 a.m., it's the episode from last year. Something that I'm kind of looking forward to is 2 o'clock in the morning, on September 19th, you get to see what happened um, the year before. I don't know. It's like Monday night. I have to work at 10 in the morning on Tuesday, but I'm kind of curious to see what happened. Maybe I'll just watch it I don't, off I, of YouTube because you can watch any episode on YouTube. So. If I remember, I think it was mostly just another day. <clears throat> I mean, that's even more of a good reason to watch it, I think, you know? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Know. That's what I was saying then, too. I think it'll mostly be a pretty regular day, too, except for we're going to be turning the couch on its side. Yeah, we're going to turn the couch on its side. Oh, yeah, we could turn the couch on its side on the program. That's what I was thinking we might do, yeah. All right, and then put it over there and then try to move this new couch over. over. The trick is maybe trying to figure out how to make sure that everyone can hear... Um, what we're saying, you know. Yeah, we might. We don't have to necessarily do that on the program. We might want to do that. Really? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I guess we could try. We could. We could try, but maybe. I kind of want to, but it's you know just to. Maybe we. I'm, I just know that there's been a couple times when we've done things and, um, like even just moving an entire studio. Sometimes we would like not document it well. Oh yeah. And I thought it might be a good idea. Maybe we should just uh. <laughs> Like run the camera and then like fast forward through the tape like later. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. That might be a better idea. Oh yeah, because then it would be like fast, uh, fast motion anyway. So. Mhm. Mm uh, I just think if like if we're trying to, yeah, be like holding mics and like wall like lifting things, and what is that? What? What's that sound? Chuck, chuck, chuck. Hammering? Yeah. I'm hammering. I'm hammering stuff <laughs> onto my wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hanging up a light over my record player at home. Oh, you can see your lights. Hopefully they don't fall on, on it, I guess. Um, yeah, like if we're holding holding cords or like you're gonna, like trying to hold the mic with one hand and the couch with the other hand. Um, <laughs> could be a recipe for injury. Oh, uh, I know. Yeah, you're right. 
I think it'd make, um, and you know, it might not even make as good of TV as doing it separately too. You know, I was sort of just thinking that it'd be for the viewers. But I think that um, fast forward thing probably is better for the viewers. Yeah, that'll work. I think because we're going to have to be moving a lot of things around. Yeah. That's Oh, yeah. I think we should... Yeah, I, I don't think I can destroy the couch. I, I got to do something with it. Like, it's too... It's too much to destroy. It's like we gotta. I don't. I. I it's. It's. It's been too good, and there's no. I mean. It's. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it's like when you have a dog or a pet, and eventually it's old and dying, and it's like. Yeah. You know what's the right thing to do? Is it to? Um, oh shoot! Oops. It's it's like that. I've had all these I've had all these ideas, but it's it's like it's like that in a way, but also it's not like it's not in pain. Yeah, that's true. Me and I'm not in pain. I feel nice sitting on the couch. It's um other I guess people have complained or something. And I guess um it's falling apart. The other one's going to be more comfortable and stuff, but uh Yeah. <laughs> it's not yeah, it's not it's not like it's limping around or anything. Uh, like a dog, like the dog would be. Yeah, that's true. But it is gross. It's definitely gross. That's like a problem, right? It's uh, full of uh, yeah. dust. So that's, that's a pretty good problem. That's why it's like either like destroy it or not. And we're gonna like put it, but we're just gonna put it on its side. But destroying it would be a lot of work anyway. <laughs> so we're just gonna put it on its side, and then we can have like another, you know, years. We can think about it for years. <laughs> the fate of the couch. It's still sitting there on its side. One of these days, we're gonna have to do something about it. Maybe destroy it. Maybe something. Sitting on the side, yeah, that's gonna be crazy. Yeah. Well, I'm up. I mean, you know, I'm up for anything. Sounds good. At least put it on the side for now, because I can see a space. Like, if we get rid of the um, the the drums and the speakers, it'll take up about that much space on its side anyway. So. We'll have the same amount yeah, of space. Yeah, but what do you want to do with the space? Have a couch there or, like, have space? I guess we fill the space one way or the other. Yeah, we could have... We, we could, uh... I don't know, build a box out of plywood around around the couch and then build, put it into the shelves. Like, build the shelves around the couch. Build a shelf around the couch. So that like the sh huh. like the shelf well, goes over like over the over, like the sh that the, the couch has like a space in the shelves. Right. We should probably do that with the couch that we're the new couch also. Wait, where did the shelves go? The shelves are like just like five feet high. The first row of shelves are five feet high, like all around the whole room. Directly above and behind the couch. Yeah, both of them. Both of the couches. So we, like, put one couch... Okay, so instead of... instead of Yeah, I think that's good. So instead of, like, what we have on the walls right now, just put, like, actual shelves. Like, just shelves where you just get those little, like, L-shaped brackets and just put them under wood. Either that or we're going to... I think for structural reasons, we might have to build that off the ground. Oh, yeah? But just, like, start the first shelf... Five feet high. Does that make sense? Okay. You know, and then and and then we can put the couches under it, and then we'll have all the floor space, so the shelves won't take up any floor space. Build it using the couch as support. No, just like just build it, make its own support, but the couch will just be on the ground, and then the shelves will be five feet high. Does that make sense to you? Uh, for some reason, I'm having a hard time envisioning this. So, so it's like you have like shelf? you have like a regular shelf, and uh -huh. it's and then you you just take out the bottom like three shelf layers and like the middle part, but you leave the outside, and then you put the couch there. So the couch is inside the shelf. Yeah, it's like the couch is on the bottom shelf. 
I don't know. It seems like those legs would have to be pretty thick to give it the structural support that you're imagining that that would give it from the floor. You just need some. Um, you need some cross beams uh, or something. Cross beams. Like we get studs. If we can find the studs in the wall, we can just like put a L-shaped bracket underneath it every time and just have like free hanging shelves. They can support that much weight. You're, we're just, are we just putting VHS tapes on them, or are we putting other things on them? Uh, tapes, I guess, yeah. I think it would support that weight. Oh, I had another thought, too. We need to um, not use stools to put the TVs on, but we should have all things, like, shelves. <laughs> I guess we just need to turn every piece of furniture <laughs> into a shelf, is what we need to do. <laughs> I, I think so, yeah. I, yeah, I was just like looking at the TV that you're looking at there. Uh huh. And then I was looking at the TV that um, is kind of off to the side and has it's on a bookshelf. And I was like, oh, that bookshelf is saving us a lot of space. And the other one is just like n no use at all. It's just like nothing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Shelves. More shelves. All shelves. Every wall should be a shelf. Right. And then the couches, and then the floor or the couches. Then yeah. Then then the. the uh, the couches can be like in the shelves also. Right. Yeah. There's like tons of shelves. Okay, so just shelves, 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 shelves. That's the uh, year seven is the year of the shelf. Everything will be a shelf. Yeah. Nothing won't be a shelf. <laughs> yeah, construction. We're gonna do some major construction. Maybe we should try to um, call um, the pirate carpenter. Oh, I thought you were going to say the landlord and make sure that they're uh, okay with that. No, you're uh, right. We should call the pirate carpenter. I wonder where we're going to get all this wood. I don't know if I want to buy wood. I like getting free wood, but I was thinking about it. Like, the free wood is uh, inconsistent, not in quality, but just, like, in length and width, which I think is pretty important when you're constructing solid shelves. It's, it's... So maybe we could call the pirate carpenter on the show and ask them about the shelves. Yeah. Or invite him on the couch. Yeah, ask him about how the sh how shelves work and stuff. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're gonna be moving all these shelves. Oh well, we only have five minutes. I gotta record a message to the future. Mm, okay. And I was gonna call. I'm gonna call Dan Dobler too. Uh, Freddie, that's uh, well, we, well, uh, I'm gonna call Dan Dobler. Thanks for talking to us today. Thank you. Talk to you later. Have a good message to the future. Bye. Bye. All right, I'm gonna cue it. Okay, I'm gonna cue this while I call Dan Dobler. Cue in, calling Dan Dobler on one thing. Cue in the tape on the other. Hi, it's the pro we're on TV. How are you? Fine. I'm gonna record a message to the future. You want to say something to the future? Yeah. To, to the future. You want to say something to the future? The future? Yeah. Uh, we 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 need peace. We we need peace. We do. Thanks. Bye, future. Hey, okay, how are you, Dan? Fine. Are you, are you gonna come to our year? We're doing the year th kickoff on the nineteenth, on September nineteenth. Uh, my 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 uh, uh, my sister's here. My 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 sister's here in a uh, for a few days. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Uh, you we called you. You call her when that's the one that you call when you're on the show. Yeah, well, well I, I, I'm on your show right now. I'll call me later, okay? All right. All right. Thanks, Dan. Bye. All right. Let's look at a couple of these messages to the future, and then that'll be the time. I think we only have a few minutes left, so I don't think we can only look at, like, yesterday and today, maybe. Lots of talk, uh, uh, future talk. Oh, 
Oh, that was today. Let's just, I guess we can only look at. We can look at three days. Thursday. It's Thursday. Friday and Saturday. Maybe. To work alive. And are you alive? I'm alive. I hope you are, because otherwise it's just scary. How can you hear this if you're not alive? Are you past that time you're sitting on a new couch? Did you retire the national anthem for your program? We could bring it back every once in a while. I guess anything. But we're going to do that. So now it's happening. Uh, I'm alive. Feel pretty good. How do you feel? Thank good. you. Goodbye. Bye. We're back here in the past. You know what day it is? It is uh, Friday. Friday. And it was yesterday. I'm comfortable. It's a good temperature. You remember yeah, how it's it so is. hot? Yeah, I do. In it's the past, good. it's it no is longer good. too hot, it's but it might good. come back. I don't know. Hope not. It's good. It's good a weather today. report. Thanks. Bye. Future. Bye. Future, you want to say something to the future? The future? Yeah. The future, uh, Dan. We, we, we need peace. We, we need peace. We did. Thanks. Bye, future. Bye. Uh, okay. Oh, that's a good message, Dan. Um, here it goes. It's the end of the show. We made it. Bye. Here I am. And then here's the... the the credits. Thanks for watching. It's Saturday. You can watch on TCTV channel 22 every night at 11:30 and 2 a.m. Check it out YDHWM.com. Yeah. 360-836-4384. Call and leave a message. Get on TV. YDHWM.com, check it out. 109 State Avenue, number three. Graham Graham, it's a good song, thank you. TCTV, La Bebe, Jordi E, fabulous. Graham Graham, Stockspot.com, John Webster, Thurston County, Washington State, USA, thank you. Viewers, that's you, you're watching, thank you. Hell yeah, dog. Bye.